Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a quick update to the previous um, help video I did for connecting the Oculus Quest 2 to iRacing. This one's a bit more streamlined, so I'm really hoping that it helps you more and it should save any confusion relating to the last video. So I'm sorry I've had to redo it, but I'm only trying to do my best to help you and not waste your time. So thank you very much for watching. Let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, first step in setting up iRacing is simply go to from your main menu, click on the helmet in the top right, click on settings. In settings options, you've got user preferences. You might have to scroll down a bit, go to show sim display mode. Make sure that that is enabled. Show sim display mode prompt. Enable that. You then click close. Okay, if you only want to set up iRacing just to allow VR only and to save your one mouse click, rather than using the show sim display mode, which I'd highly recommend using, you can also set a default by going to interface at the top, click on um, from there where it says default sim display mode, the drop down box and choose whatever VR you're using there. With Oculus Quest, I'd recommend using either Oculus or OpenXR. Okay, so that's just a, a simple way of setting a default. Uh, I prefer the other method because I use the screen as much as I do VR. All up to you. And then other than uh, future changes to uh, graphic settings, that's all that's needed in iRacing for now. So you can minimize that. Okay, put the Oculus on your head, and then from the main menu, click Quick Settings. Under Quick Settings, we want to go to Settings. Under Settings, we go to System. There, we'll go Quest Link, and then Access PC VR Apps with Air Link or Link Cable. Enable that. Okay, then go to, to um, headset tracking. Headset tracking should be enabled. Tracking frequency set to auto. Click on display and then 120 refresh rate. Enable that. Uh, lift up your Oculus headset. We'll take it off for a moment. And um, Preferably leave it on your forehead or forehead, I'm going to call it. Using your mouse, you have the Oculus app or Oculus program still open on your computer. If we go down to settings, under settings, go to general. In general, make sure that the um, well, select unknown devices, enable that. Oculus XR runtime, set that to active. Okay, the rest of the settings here are optional. Right, we're looking in the headset. Uh, we've got quick settings, quest link. Now, we want to make sure that air link is enabled. Okay, so we'll enable air link. And then we'll choose the computer that we want to connect to. And click pair. Right, this will then give you the code. And then lift up your headset and look at the computer screen. Confirm that numbers on the computer screen. And close that window. Back in your headset, the confirmed pairing code is still there. So click continue. All right, everything's correct. We can click launch. Okay, so you're now in AirLink, but first we want to go back a step. So we'll click the AirLink button in the menu, click Quit. Okay, 
look at the computer screen again and you'll see the uh, the Quest 2 is now lit up as we're connected by AirLink. So click Quest 2 and touch. You might have to scroll down a bit, click on Graphic Preferences. And this is where you now set your, um, your refresh rate and your render resolution. The refresh rate is the number which will give you the... Um, well, it relates to the frames per second you'll get in iRacing. All right. So if you set this to 90, the maximum frame rate you'll get in your headset with iRacing will be 90. If you set it to 120, it'll be 120 in iRacing and so on. Why don't you try 90 first? Now, the rendering resolution. First of all, you can set it to auto and that will give you the recommended settings for your rendering resolution. In my case, it's uh, 3264 by 1648. To increase this rendering resolution number, you can uncheck the auto button and then increase the rendering resolution. Okay, it goes right up to 5408 by 2736. I'd highly recommend using the auto, auto setting first and gradually testing um, with increases in your render rendering resolution. Right. This is highly dependent on both your graphics card in your computer and your computer CPU. Okay, so I'll leave mine there at the uh, default setting for 90 hertz. I then click save and restart. Okay, once I've saved and restarted my, uh, my resolution that I want or my frames per second that I want to achieve, that only has to be really done once. You can change it later on, um, but you should only have to do that once. Next, to start to actually start our racing, we simply click Quick Start, Quest Link. You want to use Air Link in this case, so we've got the Air Link button enabled. We click Launch. Okay, once you've clicked launch, you're now in AirLink. Okay, no cable connected to the computer. Right, so once you're in AirLink, you can lift your headset up temporarily. And then start your iRacing user interface. Click on Go Racing. Choose a practice session or even a race session if you're going to have a race, but test it all first. So I'll choose this one. All right, remember the iRacing changes we made under settings? So that'll come into effect now. We just press join, and then the sim display mode menu now appears. If you haven't already done that step in iRacing, this menu will not appear, and you'll be still in monitor mode without VR. So click the down arrow. Let's try Oculus first and click Launch Sim. Okay, once that has loaded up iRacing, you then put your headset on and you are now in VR in iRacing. Because I had set my um, frames per second to 90, I am now getting 90 frames per second in iRacing. So I have now withdrawn from that previous session. I've gone back to the Oculus program on the computer. I'll click Devices, press to and touch, Graphic Settings. I'll increase my frame rates to 120 frames or 120 hertz. Then you must click Save and Restart. But once that's saved and restart, pop your headset back on your head, click Quick Settings. Quest Link, we still want to use AirLink, so that's enabled, and we will launch. So we're now in Quest Link, we're in AirLink, so this is as far as you go. You don't have to do anything else within here. So lift your headset up, then go to another iRacing session.
And as per normal, we just click join and our menu pops up. We can then select whichever one we want again. Go back to Oculus again. Click launch sim. So once iRacing finishes loading, put your headset on <coughs> and you are now in iRacing in VR once again. And if you check your frame rate now, uh, I'm now 120 frames per second because of the changes I made in the Oculus program on the computer. So now we've got Airlink all running. I bet you're saying, yeah, okay, Scott, that's Airlink. What about wired, you know, like using the cable, uh, air, uh, the link cable to connect to your computer to your headset. Okay, so here's a link cable. All right, you recognize the two ends. One's the flat end. And one's the square end. Square end goes into your Quest headset. The other end goes into a USB-C port on your computer. Now, what if you don't have a USB-C port available on the computer? What do you do then? Okay, buy one of these little adapters. Okay, so that's one end, and it's just a normal USB 3 on the other end. So that takes this end of the uh, USB-C cable plug that in there, and then that then can be plugged into a normal USB 3 port on your computer. Now that you plug the USB into the uh, into the computer, uh, as explained, either to USB-C or the adapter to your headset to the computer. Back in the main menu within your headset, click Quick Settings, click Quest Link. Now, because we now want to use the wired connection, Disable use air link. If this connection comes up, click deny on the left there. Click deny. You'll then be prompted with this. Leave air link turned off. We have rift connected, so we are connected to the computer now, and we can simply click launch. There we go, we're now connected uh, via a cable to the computer with the headset. So once again, lift your headset up to your forehead. Then choose a, uh, a practice session or whatever you want to do there. Click join. Once again, select whichever option you want from here, I either use Oculus or OpenXR okay, for the Quest 2, so I use Oculus in this case, go launch sim and then once that has finished launching you're now using wide mode or yep wide and then practice there we are, we're now in another, the next session with our 119, 120 frames per second done. That's connecting um, the Quest headset to the computer via the cable. And we're now in iRacing. Right, these are my basic VR settings or graphic settings in iRacing. You'll notice that they're quite low settings. Remember, depending whether you're using VR to view the settings or you're using the uh, PC screen, the iRacing keeps a separate file for each one, either VR or on screen. Also, remember to set a, a recenter button. That's very important when using VR and iRacing. Very helpful. Okay, folks, if this has helped you in any way, please uh, subscribe. That would help me out a lot. Also share it with your friends or anyone that you know of that may be having trouble with the Oculus Quest in iRacing. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, all the best and bye for now.